the coast of eastern Long Island, a chilly dawn in November. With the first light, gulls and fish are roused by hunger. Now is the time for fishermen. These men have been awake for an hour. With coffee and talk, they've waited for the dawn. They are the beach saners. They travel to their hunting grounds through the quiet lanes of East Hampton. Five men, two trucks. One truck tows the rig, a dory on a trailer with a net carefully loaded in the dory. For their fathers, it was a Model A Ford. For their grandfathers and great-grandfathers, horses and wagons. But no one in town can remember or has heard of a fall or spring when the beach saners have not been on the beach. They follow a long tradition. The surf. A beach saner looks at surf and sees more than anyone. He sees the guardian of his prey, a deceiver, a killer, a constant test of his courage. This surf demands a profound respect. The trucks shift into four-wheel drive. Little time is lost getting down onto the beach. Time is needed now to study the surf, look for signs of fish, slick on the water, gulls picking bait, the whirling tail of a fish just inside a breaker, and more quiet talk. Gee, see, it's getting cold these mornings. Waiting for signs of fish. What do you think, Ted? And you can be sure he is thinking about fish and how to get them. Captain Ted Lester. Let's back her down, sniper in, boys. It's good to get moving, shake out the chill. Hope we don't ship no water getting off. It's so cold. Hold her. Okay, boys, shove her off. Oh, my God, that's so heavy dory with the seine loaded in her.
Captain Ted starts the motor. Who's going? Sitting around. Okay. Watch her. Hold her. Here's a good sledge. Get in, damn it. Off. So it goes. Four, five, six times a day. Timing, teamwork, and a split second of fear. Last year they rode with oars, as they always had. The outboard motor in Adori is an innovation of the younger men. The old timers scoff, just as their fathers had the first time a Model A was driven onto the beach. Now the trucks with four wheel drive equipped with winches mean smaller crews and longer sanes. The seine is 300 fathoms long, 1,800 feet. Like most nets, it has leads on the bottom and corks on top. At the center is a large bag made of heavy netting, a kind of fish trap. The bag is thrown over, and now the east arm of the net is set as the dory returns to shore. The set is made. No one is cold anymore. The signs for fish are good. An oily slick just beyond the surf, and it's still showing. Captain Ted saw a bass whirl while he was out making the set, and he told the boys. The striped bass are no longer making up in the bays, schooling up for their run down the coast. The weather has just turned cold and crisp. It's time the fish started to move. All is anticipation now for the beach crew. Anticipation and work. The seine is winched up on the beach from both ends. The bag is kept in the center of the set and is the last part of the seine to be hauled onto the beach.
trucks move closer together. A hitch, a slip knot, and another hank of net is winched up the beach. They're into them. Take it out by hand. Easy. Keep them lids down. Out even. Ooh, hold up. Now all together. Now, boys. Stripe bass, stripe bass in the bag. To the beach crew, no time of happiness can compare with it. No creature is more beautiful to it. Listening, powerful, smart, clean, respected. Like all good hunters, the beach saners love a worthy prey. sand and sweat in their eyes, but the crew picks fish with exuberance. They've waited a long time for this productive haul. To each man, it means a different thing. Mortgage payment, doctor bills for a pregnant wife, a new truck tire, an engagement ring. But those things will come later. Now he must load all this net.
The bag is loaded amidships. Now the west arm of the seine must be loaded. is passed up. The seine is loaded, ready to set again. There's coffee, cigarette, talk, gossip, some teasing. It's about eight o'clock now. The sun is high and warm. Boots become heavy and hot. The price was good at the market yesterday and there's about 1,500 pounds of bass in the truck. The air is crisp and clear. The surf has dropped down since daybreak. Life is sweet. Well, boys, what do you think? We go home, pack these fish out, have breakfast, come back. We'll take a look at the east and see if we see a bunch of fish. What's the difference what we think, Ted? We'll make another set and go home, as you call it. And that's the kind of democracy that prevails with a beach seine crew. Captain Ted Lester always asks the boys first before he decides what they will do next. And finally, that's the way it should be. It's an unquestioned tradition. As the rig moves eastward along the beach, the youngest member of the crew thinks about his girl and looks for signs of fish. The day will come when he will decide the actions of a crew on this beach. He doesn't think about it much, but it's part of him. It's all part of a long tradition. <laughs> 